So it is American Heart Month, heart disease, by the way, and we've said this mm. a million times, but we have to say it all the time. Yeah. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. Yes, so we have Dr. Angela Therese Therese and Gina Lathy, a nurse practitioner here, joining us from Marshall Health to talk about some of the risk factors mm -hmm. and prevention, things that we can all be doing a little more of. So thank you all for coming in. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And oh, prevention, I guess, that's the main thing that, uh -huh. we, that we need to get across because once the diagnosis is made, there's already been damage done, but prevention, I guess, is that's, that's right. really mm -hmm. what you, you all want to stress. Right, exactly. So uh, why heart disease is so important is it's the number one killer of women, mm -hmm. mm. Um, and that it surpasses all types of cancer, including breast cancer. 45% uh, of women 20 years and older already mm -hmm. have some form of cardiovascular yeah. disease. And uh, most importantly, most uh, uh, heart attacks and strokes are preventable. Mm -hmm. mm. And talk a little more about that. Are, and are there risk factors involved? You mentioned women are more predominantly mm -hmm. going to have this mm -hmm. issue, but are some women more at risk maybe than others? Um, talking about the risk factor, we have some risk factor that can be modifiable mm -hmm. and some cannot be, like age, talking about um, genetics and race, right. ethnicity, we cannot deal with those on um, right. our daily basis. But talking about the most common um, in our clinics is smoking, oh, yeah. obesity, mm -hmm. um, other conditions like increased lipids and cholesterol, yeah. diabetic disease, okay. sedentary life. Those are the risk factors that as a physician, as a heart team, we are looking to prevent in our community and population. Yeah. And, and it's probably, I would think, it's even more important for people who are in those high-risk groups that you mentioned mm -hmm. to be aware and mm -hmm. do work more on prevention. That's even more vital. Right. The American Heart Association has identified eight modifiable uh, risk factors, and uh, they include you know, smoking, as she mentioned, right. you know, if you smoke, you need to stop smoking or immediately. don't, yes, immediately. Um, diet, you need to work on a healthy diet. Uh, sleep is, has just been recently added. Uh, we, uh, oh, really? Sleep? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. It's recommended to get seven to nine hours of sleep in, uh, per night. And okay. too many women just aren't doing that. Right. That's, that's right. a real yeah. problem exactly. because they're, you know, they're busy, they're trying to take care of their families mm -hmm. and they're, they're doing right. all that stuff and, and, and yet, that's putting women at risk. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly right. And um, again, you know, getting back to the chronic health conditions, if you have diabetes, um, you need to control your blood sugar, uh, mm -hmm. control blood pressure, uh, lose weight if, you know, if right. you're overweight or right. obese. Yeah. Um, and exercise is another big one. We recommend 150 minutes of exercise per week. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, basically controlling your, um, you know, your risk factors and modifying, you know, what you can. Mm -hmm. Also the diet, yeah. And the diet, the diet. Yes. Yes. healthy the diet. diet. Goodness. Yes. Also. Yes. And all of those sound simple, but it's tough to do sometimes right. to make those changes. But these are life and death things. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you know, um, let's say someone at home is thinking, well, sometimes I get chest pains, but I'm sure it's just something it's I nothing. ate. They, How do you know right. when you really should see a doctor? Mm -hmm. Like I always say to all my patients, if you're having chest pain, this is not a joke. Just go straight to the emergency room mm -hmm. and just make sure to seek for attention, for medical attention. Mm -hmm. But we are looking for symptoms like in the center of the chest, pressure-like heaviness, tightness. Mm -hmm. um, if the patient is having any symptom that improve after rest or is worse on exertion, mm -hmm. definitely that's a major symptom to go and seek for medical attention. If it's any association with palpitation, sweatiness, lightheadedness, any radiation of that pain that goes to the left arm, okay. to the neck, those are important signs to look and go to the emergency room or seek for yeah. attention with the cardiology. That because women present know. different symptoms right. than men do. Yes. And in many cases, yes. they don't even realize. And, and is, is, it, is it known as the silent killer? It's known as the silent killer, mm -hmm. especially um, hypertension. Yeah. In women, especially if they are um, having diabetes disease, they can present with nausea, vomiting, that is not usual right. to see. Right. They wouldn't, wouldn't think, think I'm having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. right. right. That is part of the heart that. condition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And you wanted to mention also something, uh, you will have lipid testing. Yes, we also have a lipids clinic that mm -hmm. we operate out of our Huntington office and okay. it's for patients okay. that um, need to have better control of their cholesterol or some of these patients that have cholesterols that are very difficult. Right. 
um, to control. We offer a lot of different treatment uh, modalities besides like your conventional, you know, statins. Some people right. can't take that. So mm -hmm. um, we have options, you know, to treat that because it's, again, a uh, modifiable risk factor right. um, in prevention of heart disease. Okay. Something, you know, just making a few modifications yeah. right. maybe all that we need. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is great information. It We've is. been putting your phone number and all the contact information up there in case someone watching would like to go ahead and schedule an appointment or just to get in touch, maybe a consultation to learn mm -hmm. more about right. how they can mm -hmm. stay healthy. And I guess right. that's the thing is to, to, to call that number and make an appointment even if you're not feeling, even if you haven't right. felt those things. Because if you haven't had a checkup in a while, just a regular yeah, physical, might be time. It's right. important, right? To very have that important. Done mm -hmm. okay. Very important. Well, thank you both for coming. Yeah. In. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you so much. It can Thanks be life saving. Thanks for having us. Yes. For sure. Yeah.